Hi there, welcome to today's product in focus. The US 30 there is off its highs yesterday. As you can see from yesterday's candle, um, we fit, we actually had an all time high, 17,738, only to then close significantly lower. And the US markets are actually out, uh, underperforming the European markets. I got a shot in the arm after yesterday's very positive ZEW business report, which yeah. beat even the most bullish of estimates. So, short term potential support remains at 15,548. Potential resistance there, obviously, at 17,737. So looking at the UK 100 actually, it's um, come off a little bit today actually, um, but the last couple of sessions have been very, very bullish. Um, we are in the middle of two ranges, potential resistance at 67.74, potential support at 6.666. Technical, technical indicators are uh, overbought, um, and actually you're just about getting a signal to sell on the RSI just now. Um, we are seeing a declining uh, MACD histogram there, but not yet a, a crossover. Um, there will be support right here, but we are, we are seeing a little bit of selling on the UK 100 as the UK market has just opened up, mainly in the back of mining stocks. You see Rio Tinto is actually down a little bit there today already. So as the commodity yeah. prices are getting hit hard, obviously UK 100 has a fair amount of um, uh, commodity style stocks out there, so that's worth bearing in mind. So moving in Japan to five, we had a failure to break 17435. Um, we do know we're going to have snap elections in Japan. Uh, we do know that there is going to be uh, no increase in the consumption tax over Japan. It just now depends on how much uh, popularity the existing Japanese government have and if they've over uh, thought their popularity out there. Uh, we have seen some very good moves in dollar yen overnight. Uh, 117 spot 32 is where it currently is. Um, but that might put a little bit of a cap on Japan 225, the uncertainty as to uh, you know if the snap elections do come, to what majority Shinzo Abe's government will actually go ahead and get. So looking at dollar yen, great momentum right here. Next time potential, next potential resistance, 124.42. Potential support remains at 114 spot 74. But just remember, the closer we get to 120, that's where the Bank of Japan said they might intervene in their currency. You could be looking at 150, 200 point move should they intervene and you don't want to be on the wrong side of that. So this is kind of the danger zone, though the longer term potential uh, resistance still remains 124.42. So crude oil was Texas. And moving to the downside, we broke below $75, eyeing up next potential uh, support at 70 spot 41. Short term potential support will be here at the tip of this candle, around about 73.52. And we do have crude oil inventories due today at 3.30 UK time. Actually, looking at some of the, the data that's due out uh, later on today, uh, we do have some interesting things to go ahead and have a look at. Uh, we'll check that in a second. So, looking at gold, um, what we do also have here is. Um, some interesting moves from a technical yeah, perspective. We do have some breakouts actually happening here. Uh, we are moving in the right direction. Now, we're away from yesterday's uh, tip of the highs. We're trading above that 21 period SMA, but we are trading between two ranges. So, potential resistance at 1218 and potential support at 1180. Okay. So, moving on to your dollar as well. Your dollar had a shot in the arm after the uh, strong ZDW report yesterday. Trading above one spot twenty four ninety eight or one spot twenty five, uh, next potential resistance one spot twenty six sixty one. Um, we are hugging that twenty one period SMA right now, uh, but the other technicals are relatively neutral. So, should we continue to get good news from from Europe, we might be able to have a retest. Um, but it's all dependent on what comes out from the uh, jobless claims in the US. There's lots of US data due tomorrow actually. So I Okay, so now that we've logged back onto the platform out there, what I really wanted to do to get the chance to have a uh, have a look at was what economic data is due out today. Uh, today is Wednesday, so we do have um, some UK bets. We do have, this is crude inventories, but we don't actually have a huge amount until Thursday, um, where we've got loads. We've got uh, UK retail sales, we've got um, CPI from the US, we've got jobless claims from the US, we've got. Um, Business Outlook survey, loads of economic data which can have a big impact on, on your dollar cable and some of the other global markets as well. And if we actually finish up there by having a quick look there at cable, um, we broke below one spot 57.42. We are looking at the next potential support at one spot 54.24, and we're trading in the middle of two ranges right now. So um, pressure remains, technicals are over uh, sold. Uh, but the signal to uh, of a potential reversal has not yet come in, so the pressure remains for GBP USD. As ever, keep your eye on the chart form uh, to get um, tra potential trade setups from our global analyst team. Make insights part of your layout going forward. Enjoy me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.